Hey everyone, I'm Barry, the guest at Meow's Cafe, welcome all. First of all, thanks for the invite, this is a very profound question. The thing that changed my life, it's just too significant for me. So I would like to share it with all of you. In fifth grade, I became seriously ill. My parents took me around seeking medical help, queuing all night for tickets, and sleeping on the floor in the lobby of hospitals. We finally got to see a doctor in a military hospital. He was cold and dismissive, telling my mom without even looking at me properly that I must have an autoimmune disorder. I could only be sustained, but not cured. He then suggested that they could have another child. In the hallway of the hospital, my mom and I wailed. As a little girl, my heart was filled with fear and desperation. I was afraid of dying, afraid that my mother didn't want me anymore. Nonetheless, my mother refused to believe him. She brought me to another top-tier hospital. Failing to get a registration, she took me directly to the director's office, wiping away her tears while pleading for his help to save me. The sunlight shone in from outside that day, casting a golden glow on the lofty silhouette of the director. He comforted me, asking me not to cry, and adding me to his list of patients. When he learned that I was still going to school, he asked me to arrive at 7.30 a.m. ahead of every visit. He would see me first so that I could leave right after and it wouldn't affect my classes. To encourage me, he gave me little gifts each time I visited, little toys, keychains, and notebooks that he got from his overseas conferences. He constantly reminded me to study hard. Eventually, we confirmed that I did not have that scary autoimmune disorder. This sparked a dream in me to become a doctor. And eventually, I did become a doctor, enrolling in the same university where the director had graduated from. When I told him this, he was overjoyed like a child. I told him that he had planted the seed of love in my heart. During my internship in the year I graduated, I was assigned to the hospital where the director was based. I was so excited to see him. By then, the director had turned over 60. He was retired, but rehired. Our relationship had grown closer over the years. I started calling him grandpa. But when I went to look for him at his clinic, I realized his name was not listed. I asked the service desk and was told that grandpa had a sudden myocardial infarction and had passed away a few days ago. For a very long period, I refused to believe it. I felt as if my soul was empty. The person who had been my role model and Faith had just left me. Fate is such an intriguing thing. Over a decade, I had transitioned from a patient to a doctor, returning to the same hospital where I was once a patient. I met two important doctors in my life. One of them taught me never to become like him. The other ingrained in me is the spirit of a doctor, always remember that the health of patients is entrusted to us. Whenever I walked into this hospital, I would always be filled with unique emotions. It was like an experiential journey, a dream interlinking the past and present. A few days ago, a middle-aged woman led a little girl into my clinic. The little girl timidly hid behind her while her mom, wiping away her tears, said to me, please save our child. The other hospitals have given up on her. We couldn't get the registration. That moment, it felt like a familiar scene, a familiar dialogue. All of those long-sealed memories resurfaced. I smiled and said, don't worry, don't cry. I'll add you to the registration. After the consultation, I gave them my mobile phone number, so they could reach me at the first instance if they had any problems and told the woman, is your daughter still in school? From now on, come over at 7.30 every time. I'll see her first so it won't affect her classes. I think it's time for me to pay back the kindness. I'm determined to become a good doctor and continue to pass on such great love. My shoulders bear a heavy responsibility. I hope grandpa finds solace from the heavens. Thank you all for watching. If there were things that also have forever changed your life, please share in the comments section. Take care.